Ever since Craig Atkins, his new bride Kimberly, and her two daughters moved into Craig's grandparents' house in Iowa, Kimberly can't shake the feeling they are not alone. I felt like somebody was watching us. <laughs> you kind of got that feeling to look over your shoulder all the time. <laughs> this is my doll. Can I join in? Sure. Jacob won't mind. And when her four-year-old daughter, Shailin, says she's befriended a man in the house, Kimberly grows concerned. Shailin told us her new friend's name was Jacob. She told us that he had coveralls on and that he looked like he worked and that he was dirty. Could Jacob be more than an imaginary playmate? I looked up and seen a shadow of a man, and I thought we were going to be attacked. Hey! Hey! I immediately went into dad mode. I went after this guy. I was petrified. I thought somebody was in our house, and we were dead that night. After a thorough search of the house, Craig finds no intruder and nothing missing. Craig breaks the news to Kimberly. Hey, hey. I checked the whole house, all right? I checked everything. There's nobody here. No, I saw someone, honey, Craig. Honey, listen, I did too. I checked everything. Everything is locked up tight. We're safe, all right? Well, I'm gonna sleep with the girls tonight because I don't want them to be alone. Listen, you have nothing to worry. Everything's gonna be fine. We thought it was somebody breaking in and no alarms went off and all the doors were still locked. To set the family at ease, Craig changes all the locks. He just did what a husband would do. He figured he works nights and he didn't want somebody coming in. But for Kimberly, it's still not enough. I went from the terrorized fear stage to the angry stage. I was mad because I felt like I was not protecting my kids. From that moment on, I kept a more close eye on the girls. For the next few weeks, the family tries to focus on life as usual. I just try to ignore the activity and get our life back to the way it was. Spring arrives with the promise of new beginnings. But inside the house, something is still not right. Did you see some dolphins? Yeah. So what was your favorite animal to do? I like the monkeys. <laughs> Craig, get in here! Mommy, my fish! We went into the bedroom to go watch a movie with the girls, and the whole room was just completely ransacked, just trashed. What happened? I don't know. Oh, my gosh. What's going on? It was just a complete mess, and it looked like a tornado had came through there. We knew it couldn't have been the kids. Whole house is locked, Kimberly. We walked in here, and it was like this. Yes. There was no way somebody entered that home. But one person oh, knows who is behind this. Shailin. I know who did this. Sweetie, Mommy and Daddy are talking right now. But I know who did this. Okay, sweetheart. Jacob did this. Jacob is Shailin's supposed imaginary friend. I'm Shailin. Here's your doll. What do you want to name her? Craig is not amused. Maybe Jacob couldn't do this. If he did, he'd be a naughty boy. Right? See, Jacob, I told you, you're naughty. Shailen turned around and looked at something that was straight in front of us. I was just completely shocked, couldn't even get words out. 
Shailen was seeing something that we could. For the next few days, Kimberly is constantly on edge and begins to wonder if the shadow of the man they've been seeing around the house is a ghost. At this point, I was stressed, very nervous. I knew something was going on in the home. I mean, when you see stuff moved, when you see things flipped, when you hear things, you know something's going on. And what else do you say? It's haunted. Fear is now part of the family's daily routine, and the newlyweds' relationship begins to unravel. What are we gonna do? About what? We were all very stressed of what was going on. Jim and I started fighting, and that was not like us at all. About the house, Craig, something is obviously going on. And I told him that this was more than just unusual things, that something was seriously wrong. He wanted to protect me and the girls, and he just didn't know how to do it. Did you move this? She turned around and asked me why I moved the pan. I was like, I didn't move the pan. Honey, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, Kimberly. Come here. Listen, come here. I know you're scared. I am too, and I know there's something going on here. I just, I don't know. Craig. <laughs> Craig, it moved again. All of a sudden, the pan started moving by itself. Hey, Mom, I want to... It's right 